Welcome to the Digital Growth Hack Club, where we help you elevate your business and your bottom line. Here is your host, Jenny Jones. How you doing? This is Jenny Jones. I'm your host of the Digital Growth Hacks Club. Listen, hey, I have exciting news. I had an opportunity to uh, link up with this fabulous founder. Uh, I have for you today, Raj came to join us. He's Raj from uh, Utobu Learning Management System. He's currently now, right now on AppSumo. There is a link below if you wanna be able to get access to that right away. And it'll be enough to buy me a cup of coffee, which I appreciate every now and then. But again, wanted to uh, welcome him to the show. Listen, Raj, welcome to the show. There's a lot of LMSs out there, but I think you guys do some, some things that are pretty unique. So I want you to give the viewers a little bit of background of, of what you guys um, were thinking when you came to AppSumo and a little bit about the history and yourself a little bit as well. Sure. Thanks so much for having me, Jenny. It's it's a pleasure to be here. So hi, guys. My name is Raj Sahu. I'm the founder and CEO of Utoba.com. So here's the story. I, I definitely would like to uh, talk about the story, how we basically come up with this con concept, you know. So <clears throat> uh, there was a coaching, there was a language trainer, basically. So he had an Android application, which, which was a static Android application. So he lost in touch with his freelance developer. Apparently he got jobs somewhere else and then he could not update any content on his Android application. Right. And then when he like came up, came to us saying that, Hey, can you guys help us out with the, with the, you know, like kind of getting the content out there in Android application. Uh, he has this one request, you know, I just need a very simple tool through which I should be able to manage all the content in Android and iOS application. That was the only request. All right. But when I saw the number of downloads, in Android application, like Google Play Store, it blew my mind away. It was million plus. Can you believe it? Like a language trainer in tier three city of India had a million dollar application. Wow. Right? And it was a static application. It, it, it wasn't even dynamic application, but he has years of experience. He has like, uh, he, he has more than 25, I, I think more than 20, close to 25 years of experience teaching you know, uh, teaching Hindi to English language. Mm, okay. Okay. So after that, I thought, you know, like there are so many creators around the world who are really great at what they do. Okay. All mm -hmm. they need is a very simple tool to help them grow their business. Okay. Right. And we were basically developing individual applications before for uh, different coaching businesses. Then we thought of SaaS platform and making it so easy, like the easiest platform ever for any creator to create online courses, to go live using Zoom meetings or BlueJeans, and then to sell it using automatically generated e-commerce website, ability to send emails and you know, like promote through coupons so that they should get their word out there. So, let me, stop, on the base. so let me stop you right there. I got to admit, that tool is super easy. It is, I've seen, I've worked in a lot of LMS tools. I just wanted to just, I wanted to endorse the fact that it is, it is probably one of the easiest tools, learning management tools that I have actually used. And um, so I just wanted to let you know, if you guys set out to make it as the easiest, and it is in fact the easiest. And I think when I, you know, I work with a lot of clients and they're like, hey, I don't want to deal with it. It's just too much. I want you to just do it for me. I'm like, no, listen, you just got to do this and do that and do this and do that. And so what I did was I said, man, there has to be an easier way because I can do it now that I'm in the, I'm a, I'm a, the learning management systems. I know how to navigate them. But when I got in your tool, I said, man, there must be something else. And it was just that easy. So I just wanted to endorse that and just stop there. So go ahead and finish. I just wanted to let you know it is, in fact, an easy tool to use. Right. <clears throat> and we are calling it CTS. So we are, we are, and thanks, thanks so much for the compliment, by the way. And then uh, we are calling it CTS instead of LMS, much more okay. than LMS system. Okay. So okay. we're defining a new category called uh, CTS, which means we just want to enable creators to do specifically three things. 
which is which is i think most important for a lot of coaching businesses create online courses create teach live so that you know you can take one to one classes or uh, you know one to many recurring classes and then sell okay you got a good stuff with you you have like you, you have worked years on creating content which will add value to learners okay then if they are getting any doubt or you want to take one to one sessions with them you can teach live and then all you got to do is market and sell so mm. you, you don't want to have a lot of features unnecessarily which would be you know like and the whole purpose we exist is to help you you know it, do everything using a single dashboard if you still have to go through like five different applications or you know 10 different tabs we are not solving the purpose then Correct. what we want is one single dashboard to do specifically things which matters to you and you don't have to like re- literally scratch your you know head while doing it it has to be intuitive it has <laughs> to be super simple all right and we understand that a lot of times even if it is super simple people need support so this is there is like a chat icon which we have given right there you can search the knowledge base we are adding videos and you can you can chat to the live human being in case you are facing any difficulty so all we are trying to do is you know making it super easy for creators to kind of create teach and sell their content Wow. Well, you guys have made it super easy, I will admit. And honestly, I was I thought I was missing something. I said, man, this has got to be there's got to be more to this. And and so you have an it's called CT CTS. Is that what it is? Yes. So, yes. So content training sales. What is it again? It's create, teach and sell. Oh, create, teach and sell. Okay. That doesn't roll off your tongue like learning management system. <laughs> uh, LMS. <Yeah>. Right? <laughs> that's true. No, that's true. But, I admit that. But in order for us to stay in business a year from now, five years from now, we need to be able to create teach and sell for those who teach. So I like that. I like that. Uh, I like that. Um, that breakdown. And you guys are starting something new. Okay, so tell us a little about about yourself and the company and and um, where you got your roots and stuff from, and kind of putting it all together and the idea behind it. Yeah, sure. So I'm basically from Central India, a mechanical engineer with ten years of work experience. So I have worked with a couple of multinational companies. I uh, had my own startup when I was like 22 years old. I had no idea whatsoever about um, information technology because as a mechanical engineer working in a power plant, but there was like a spirit of entrepreneurship, and you know, I I wanted to kind of try into information technology field because it it the entry point is easy. You don't need a lot of cash to start your business. Mm. So that was. That was the major uh, thing which I did. So I started very early. Uh, uh, the place where, from where I belong, usually people, you know, like at that time when we started, people had no idea about, you know, mobile applications or, or you know, key software de- development sort of thing. All right. So we started super early. I failed a lot. And then we kept on building different web applications, you know, like web application, mobile application, we built erp system for schools and colleges we implemented it in a couple of engineering colleges couple of you know top notch schools and right. then we realized that you know hey uh, this this area is pretty solid and then you know like the boom uh, of e learning started right so i figured out that you know a lot of creators would definitely need this sort of saas platform and this is how i like kind of incorporated a company in us we are Delaware C Corp. Uh, I completed a lot of accelerator program from Canada and US. Uh, we have got a couple of investors from Toronto, Singapore, Dubai. Uh, and then I finally moved to Palo Alto, California. You know, to, so we, we want to create a sort of a global you know, base in Palo Alto where I, I think the magic happens. Yeah, right. So I, I, this is how like, I completely moved here, basically. Okay. Yeah. Very familiar with that area. I used to work in that area a lot. Uh, I used to work for two startups and then I worked for a large firm um, down there. So I'm very familiar with that area. That is where all the magic happens. Right. So, so listen, so what are the ideas? So your whole making things easy, have an opportunity, because here's what I will tell you. And I'll call them LMSs, right? Because that's what they built them on. Yours is different. So I will call yours the CTS. Um, but a lot of LMSs 
don't have the ability to go live. And I think that's a right. very important piece, right? They may say, oh, well, you can set another appointment with me. Then I got to go into another application. Then I got to send you a different versus, hey, just go ahead and log in there. Come to the same spot and you'll be able to pick up the class from there or see the option to take the live version of this class versus just. Uh, um, so tell me your thought behind that. Um, just having at least that dual, because a lot of people don't have that. And I think that's very good. I like that. Right. <clears throat> so I, I basically grew up in central India. And when I was studying, uh, I was like very curious, uh, but it, it was impossible to find teachers, you know, who would be probably solving your queries, mm. you know, and I, 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 I'm born and brought up in a village. Mm. So okay. we literally lacked a lot of resources and, you know, like uh, the ratio of teacher and students were, uh, you, you, it was impossible that they would be giving you personal attention or sort of thing. I see. Right? I see. Mm -hmm. And then I realized that a lot of companies out there, I don't want to name them. A lot of companies out there, they are sales machine and they're selling education as a commodity. Okay. Education is the most important pillars of society, which I personally think. You know, I am like, I would say I'm the product of consistent learning. The place from where I come and I'm living in Palo Alto right now. It's a journey which I have taken because of consistent learning. <clears throat> All right. And the way you are, you know, like teaching your future generations. Right. Would actually define, you know, the whole, like what, what exactly, where exactly your society or your country is going. And right. which is evident right now, you know, with a lot of things coming up. And if it is, it is being sold only as a commodity, all right, and there is no personal touch, I, I really don't know what would be the future of that society. So what you're saying is, and I, and I agree as an educator, right? Uh, I still teach grad school um, and I've taught undergrad. So I've taught at almost every level of education. So I love learning and I still, um, um, learn, I feel you should learn something every day. But what I have noticed is some topics require live one-on-one, -on -one, right? Meaning Absolutely. you could, you could teach some, you can get away, actually you can get away with a lot of this new generational, uh, post COVID teaching that people are doing, um, or pre COVID, post COVID, whatever they're, they're, they're putting up a course, you know, whatever, and that may work for a topic. Oh, that's an easy concept. You know, A plus B equals C. Oh, okay, that's easy. And then they do it over routine and that's short. But there are some con <clears throat> there are some concepts that require live training. And there have been some classes where I was like, man, I wish they had a live option. Now I got to take this recorded option and I got to keep playing it over and over and keep pausing it versus if there's one concept, if I just had an opportunity to link up with one person. And I think I think the remedy to that with a lot of the LMSs is, is, hey, email us for any questions. Well, right now I need to know. And so I think your live option, I think you guys are on to something there. Um, so what else unique uh, about this tool? We already talked about ease of use. We already talked about it had the live option. There's a couple other things I think you guys have. I think you guys have um, in the kinetics of learning, I think it's auditory, there's visual, um, there's doing, I, I can't remember the other, I think there's one more, but I think you guys cover all the bases with, with your tools because you have the PowerPoint, you can upload a PowerPoint, you can do the audio, which you can upload an audio, you can upload a, and you can do it live. So talk to me about those assets. And I'm, and I will be frankly honest with you. I've seen a lot of learning management systems. I've never seen one that has all those components in it like you guys. So a lot of thought went into that attention to right. detail. I like that. Right. Yeah, I, I also want to add on on kind of the previous thought process which you were having. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I think after parents, teachers are teachers have the maximum impact in any, you know, learners or any kid's brain, you know. Mm -hmm. And if if I I still remember, you know, when a teacher praises some student, all right, it it it's an everlasting impact. The 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 one example which I always want to give is if you see the Netflix series called Cobra Kai. Okay. Yeah. Cobra Kai. Yeah. yeah. That's my absolute one of the favorite series, you know, mm -hmm. right. So it, the teachers and a student relationship is not 
no, should not be limited to only you know buying and learning content. There has to be touch which 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 lasts forever. Okay, mm -hmm. and this is where we wanted to promote kind of one to one life class or one to many life class culture, wherein they should be completely free to ask whatever they want to ask, what sort of queries they have to resolve it, rather than waiting for hearing back, you know, through email from some support team, not right. from the same same teacher, but from the support team. Right. Right. At the same time, what we wanted is to provide creators a tool to compete with the biggies. I personally know creators who are absolutely best, you know, in the industry when, when it comes to teaching and creating content. They care so much about their students, learners, that they can take bullet for them. And I mean it. They, they can literally do it. Hmm. But what they lack is that they don't have tools. Mm -hmm. Right. They are not tech savvies. They, they don't have resources to kind of hire an external agencies to build that kind of, you know, gigantic software. What they need is, you know, a, for one person or few person show is the easiest tool, which would help them out in competing with these biggest and, you know, kind of define the, the pathway for the society, you know, like teach the kids in a right way. Okay. So, this is the uniqueness about our product that even we would scale to 20 products using the same, like creators would be able to access every single thing using the same window. They, they won't be getting confused over any feature. Okay. Mm -hmm. And we are trying to simplify every single thing in a way that they would never require any sort of technical, un technical skills to kind of, uh, you know, use our use or product you know if you can use facebook or instagram you should be able to use it but it has to be that simple I now see. we are talking about the evaluation you know even like face uh, mark Zucker was talking about the metaverse taking the whole social experience to another level right. on a whole new, new whole different uh, new world which is like a digital world okay virtual reality and stuff yeah virtual reality and stuff mm -hmm, okay mm -hmm. and when it comes to education we are still using legacy system battling you know, even if it is online, we are battling with, with improving the quality of learning. Okay. We, we like if, say, for example, if, if, if there are thousands of students learning from one coaching institution, how, how do you actually measure the effectiveness? Okay. There is no, there is no metrics which is publicly available and you can't, you know, check those particular metrics. And the course completion rate in online mode and, and the kind of effectiveness in online mode is significantly low. Okay, so what we are trying to do is when the platform would evolve, we would want to, you know, in, we won't want to bring all those particular features to help them not only teach with these biggies, but actually bring that effectiveness, uh, wh which they can bring in a physical classroom. Mm. <clears throat> all right. So, so now the, when it comes to uniqueness, I, I think Utobo uh, is, is, uh, you, is the only platform wherein you'd never have to switch the window. It's, it's one window tool for sure. You don't need any sort of technical skills. Even if you want to send email address, uh, sorry, email from your sender ID, your email address, you don't need all DKIM sort of stuff. You can just add sender ID, your email address. You will get a verification email, click on that and your email address uh, setup is done, right? So we are trying to simplify every single process. Uh, in, 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 in the platform and to give you only what is useful. So we have a mini CRM as well, so that, you know, whenever a learner is coming, whenever the inquiry is coming from your free sessions, or you're putting in a lot of effort in, in giving demos to your learner base. Right. But what after that, how, how you are going to monitor what is happening to those you know, learners? So you have a mini CRM where you can keep track of, you know, when you gave demo to them, and you know how exactly you are, you are going to convert them as, as you are, you know, like paying users, right? So we are kind of working on, on that also right now. Yeah, well, I mean, uh, this is a mouthful. And, and uh, I think when I saw you guys, you guys had, I don't know, uh, maybe single digits and reviews. And I was like, and, I, and here's what I will say as a founder, I don't want you to get discouraged because I'm a business owner and there's a lot of things get me discouraged in business, right? You wake up, you're having a good day. And then the next day you're like, what, what happened? Right. And I, I know going to AppSumo, they're like, oh, there's, there's 80,000, 90,000 Sumo links out there. Right. And you're like, well, wait a minute. Nobody's feeling our tool. No one's understanding it. 
here's what you need to understand as a, as a, as a founder before you, there's been like six or seven LMSs in a row that has right. come to AppSumo. And then I think even some larger platforms have re- reintroduced some things. So what I will tell you is people have fatigue right now. They're tired. They're tired of seeing them. And you guys are coming along. You, you kind of almost missed the wave, right? So now you're coming along with two things. You're coming along kind of on the tail end. And I call it the tail end because we just got hit with a wave. I think the early part of this year, everybody saw where online learning was going. We already saw that it's uh, 20 billion, 30 billion. I can't remember, but it's going like this as far as the demand for it. And so we've seen a lot of people putting them out, even though their products were not as, as well. And then you guys come out, you say, hey, towards the end of this year, said, hey, we got something that's a little bit different, a little bit better. We have a CTS. People are like, wait a minute, what's a CTS? Because I got all this other stuff. I've already spent all this money I want to on a learning management system, but why are you different? I got to tell you, and I'll tell this to my audience or, or anyone who's listening or anybody's viewing this, this is a different tool. That's what I, I, and I have a lot of tools. Everybody that know me, you can look under my profile. I have, I probably have about 250 purchases, right? But, and I have a lot of LMSs. I do. I like some of them for different reasons and some for others, but yours, I saw it. I said, ah, I got to give this tool a try. And I try to, it's very easy to use. Um, I, because here's my challenge and here's what attracted me to it. And I'll tell you my use case. Um, I teach teens, right? I teach teens youth, right? I teach right. financial workshops. They do not learn from recorded nothing, right? They don't, they don't learn well recorded. Hey, put you on this record and all that. They, and what I found even before COVID happened was I love interacting with my students at that age because I can ask them, I can look in their eyes. I can see what they're thinking. I can have them converse with other, they're not adults, they're still teens. So they need to be, when you're teaching them, they need to be driven a different way and they need to be driven live. And that's what attracted me to your tool because I have the opportunity to teach these live sessions. The live sessions are a little bit more expensive because you got to get me live, right? But right. Um, none of the parents I offered recorded like, nah, nah, I'll pay the extra to do live. And so I said, I got to have a platform that's going to give me live. Your platform gives gives me live. So I appreciate that. So listen, um, as we kind of bring this to a close here, I want to know, is there anything else you want kind of the, the people to know to, to give you guys, we've already talked about all the different things you can do, but is there anything else that people should know? Do you have anything coming down the pipe that we should know? It's just, Hey, it's not on the AppSumo page yet, but man, we're a days away. We're 30 days away <clears throat> from adding this to the platform and maybe people will consider it. And I think you guys are on the Black Friday special as well. So I right. think you'll be able to get some of that too. So give right. what do you got? Give us some juice. Give us something. Give us something. What do you got? Right. So I, I would say that we would be having multiple launches. Was, you know, like our first launch, I would say, with, with a pretty good network. So the whole reason going there was to get feedback, you know, from, okay. from the actual users. Now uh, we have a solid product roadmap, which consists of at least eight products in two years of time, all right? So the way we have def defined the product roadmap is, is, you know, very aligned to my personal story. So what I want to achieve is, you know, what is my vision for the company is that every learners, you know, should be able to afford every single course. It has to be absolutely free for them. At the same time, creators should be paid well for whatever, you know, whatever the effort they are putting in. I know like it sounds a bit odd if learners are not paying how exactly, you know, kind of getting paid, but this is my vision, okay? So we want to create a win-win ecosystem wherein we would be introducing some sort of reward management, you know, system, right? Wherein learners, if they don't have money, it's okay, you know? If they are putting an effort, uh, if say creators are putting in a lot of effort, they should be at the same time, learners are the futures of any country. And you know, to acquire skills, I genuinely think they should not pay. Okay, because those skills are going to be used, you know, to 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 generate income and they are going to pay income tax 
you know, like on, on their income. Wow. So you, you <laughs> that makes sense, but I, I, people don't get that, but go ahead. That, 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 that's good. Yeah. So what, what we are trying to do is that we have defined suite of products. So once we launch it and say, you know, you, you got to be consistently watching us, you know, for, uh, for, you know, like for a three years journey. And once we'll be probably launching the reward management system pretty soon, like probably within two months of time. Once it, it, it starts happening, you would kind of understand the, the, the vision which we have and how we are going to achieve it. So wow. we want to craft a future of education where learning would be economical, fun, intuitive, right? And they literally don't have to pay a single penny to acquire skills because the tax is already very high. Okay. Okay. All right. So I see that. And one thing I liked, and I did a demo video of your tool. And it was one thing I shared with everybody I says, listen, I love this. A lot of thought went into this is um, your one-to-one zoom to instructor, right? right? So in your offering, you say, Hey, if you have, if you give 10, if you have uh, slots for 10 instructors, you also have slots for 10 zooms separate right. zooms do right. you know how important and key well you know because you guys put it in there no one right. people don't have that they don't have two things so i like that the fact that if you have five instructors on staff helping you those five instructors can set up their own zooms and attach them to that that is so powerful yeah so the one-to-one zoom feature i think because like your tier one has five courses right i mean it has three educators three Zoom accounts. So then your tier two has 10 educators, 10 Zoom accounts. That is powerful how you put the one-to-one together because most applications uh, have just one Zoom account and then you spread amongst like three other teachers or something like that. So that was very smart. Who's, whose idea was that? Was that your idea? <laughs> of course. <laughs> so said, I mean, course this was. is a team <laughs> effort, but you know, like I'm the product guy, so. I have a solid team, so we keep on kind of brainstorming on how we can, you know, make it easy for creators and coaching businesses. So we, we do a lot of sessions like that. Okay, so for what we have here on the AppSumo page, tier one is $79, tier two is $159, 25 courses, uh, 10 educators, 25,000 learners. I would at least do a tier two if I'm in, if I'm in, if I'm learning, if I'm in that space. Um, I challenge people out there to take a look at your tool because you guys are doing something really different and I can appreciate that. Um, one other thing you guys do, and I'll close out with this. And I noticed this and it makes sense now that you even shared it is you guys say, Hey, we want an option for people to take classes for free. And all the other tools that I have, all the other learning management tools that I have, um, they'll have, Oh, you can have a demo. You can unlock this or unlock. You guys have it where you can strictly set up a free class. And that's very appreciative because none of my other tools allow me to do that. And sometimes what I've learned in, in, in marketing and digital marketing and media and stuff, sometimes you got to give free samples away, right? You got to give free samples right. away. You know, if I teach in the financial industry and the marketing industry, and I have multiple courses. I might want to give a course away for free to let people experience me, right? To let them, and I teach that. I have a course, it's called the, uh, the um, six, six Degrees of Conversions. And there's six different ways that you can convert people into clients. And I, I'll probably put a link to that here in the link. Right. But inside of one of them is giving away free samples. How do I get a chance to experience you or to experience your ecosystem if you don't allow me in or give me a free sample of a full course? Not a not a uh, tidbit of that. So, again, right. um, you guys and your course allows me to do that. And I can appreciate that. Actually, for that, I think I may end up picking up another tier because <laughs> I, right. I just had I just had another yeah. ideal about another class as a reason why. Um, so so do you have any room for any agencies or anything like that or? or this is pretty much it. You can have learners underneath you. That's pretty much the extent of an agency. Right. So, uh, I mean, we are working on full admin control, admin access. Okay. So once that is done, I think you'd be able to add multiple uh, creators. So creators can be agency as well, right? So that totally would be, uh, you know, like that totally depends how you want to position it. But once the full admin access uh, would be live, 
you know, I would definitely talk more about it on, on the videos which we're creating and how you can do it. Right. So okay. for, for now, like I would keep on, keep it a little suspense on, <laughs> on this particular side. Okay. So, so let me ask you this then, would it be a certain tier that would have access to it or anybody that's involved, no matter if it's tier one to tier three, will have access to that. And is that, or do you know that much? At least, yeah, just... de- definitely. I, I think tier two and tier three both would have it, not not the tier one. Tier okay. one is specifically designed for individual creators. Specifically. Got it. Okay, so that makes sense. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go ahead and go on up to tier three. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, invest that because I just had another right. idea. Well, I had some free courses I wanted to do, and I was like, right. man, she just gave me that idea. So listen, it's been a pleasure to 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 meet with you and talk to you today. Is there any final words for my viewers? My listeners, do you have anything that you want to share um, to the Sumalings out there? Um, you can share if you want to how much more longer you guys will be on there. Or, hey, when we're gone, you catch the FOMO, fear of missing out. Um, is there anything else you want to share that we that you want to encourage them to do? So, Right. Uh, first of all, thank you so much for you know inviting me. And this is, uh, this is really lovely talking to you, Jenny. Uh, you have... Uh, I mean, like, I really appreciate you taking time to kind of talk to founders like us and putting our platform out there in the world who are like trying to do good for society or, you know, making the world a better place, as we say in Palo Alto, right, or Silicon Valley. So uh, what I would, you know, convey to all the users and your viewers who are watching it, we are here for a long, you know, long sort of race. We just don't want to do one single product. There are, you know, like multiple products which will be coming on the way. And we want, we really are into it like 100%. And we, would, we want to kind of change the whole education landscape. It's just, it has just started, you know, it, it just, it's just shifting right now from legacy to kind of digital world. There are a lot of things which, which were, you know, like which we have to do to kind of change the whole education system. So for me, I, I have like talked out eight products, you know, roadmap for like three in three years of time. So all, all we want is give it a try, you know, just, you know, be with us and see what kind of magic we are creating with the product. And we want to keep simplicity and innovation at core. So at no time we want to confuse our users and at no time, you know, they're already stressful teaching. It's very hard job. It and <laughs> we, yeah, it's really, really hard, especially online teaching. It's really, very hard. And they are already stressful. A lot of people have their own kids to manage with their own jobs and multiple other things which they got to do. At least what we can do from our end is to simplify at least one job for them. And we want to do it in the best possible way in the world, right? And just be with us, stay with us, uh, keep, you know, uh, keep looking at like the product launch, which we are doing and the videos and, you know, just, just uh, try the product once. Wow. Raj, it has been a pleasure to talk to you. I, that's why I love talking to founders. Cause you, you figure out where the vision came from and then you start seeing it's like, Hey, you know, this is, this is close to what I did and how I learned. And uh, I, if you know, anybody knows me, I have multiple degrees. I love learning. And the best thing that I can do is try to make, when I'm teaching now, other students try to make the environment as comfortable as possible. Some of them like audio, some of them like visual, some of them like live. I think because you guys cover all of those landscapes, I really think you guys are on to something. Listen, it's been a pleasure. Thank you so much. We have Raj from Utobo to come here and share with us straight from Silicon Valley. As you can see behind me, I'm in Silicon Valley too, but it's it's snowing in this part. <laughs> so, so no, we're at least, I finally met a fine founder that's on the same coast as me. So I can appreciate that. It's been a pleasure. Thank you all for joining us here today on the Digital Growth Hacks Club YouTube channel. Hope everybody be safe. Until next time, see you soon. Goodbye for now. Thank you for joining us here on the Digital Growth Hack Club, where we help you elevate your business and your bottom line. Please do not forget to subscribe and share. And until next time, goodbye for now.